All right, this video is from Anton Daniels. I see I see his stuff on the feed, but I ain't really watched him. But it says, didn't want a nice man when I was 24. Now he'd be crazy to talk to me. Woman is finally honest. Oh, this sounds crazy already. All right, let's see what, what he got going on. Oh, YouTube people, please like, comment, and subscribe for your boy. It really really appreciate that man y'all watching my video i see y'all watching bro y'all fuck with the guy just just like my shit bro just just like the little subscribe button bro do me a solid and we can get this video enlarged <laughs> pause <laughs> enlarged. I, didn't, I didn't want a really nice guy when i was 24 right and so i ended things i went back on the scene i mean things worked out i got married <laughs> but relatively speaking if things didn't work out and i said to myself you know what i do want a nice guy i do want someone who's stable i do want someone who's loving mm -hmm. now that i'm older i'm more reflective i know you don't believe in older but mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i'm older i'm more reflective mm -hmm. right i could say i've now changed my mind and i want to reconsider this now whether or not he wants to give me a second chance okay. i would say he'd be dumb for doing so but for <laughs> me to go back mm -hmm. because i was the one who left he was a good person mm -hmm. what i wanted has now changed well, what if what if he wanted change too and now he don't want me yeah i mean it don't be happening <laughs> she called it she said what i say every day first thing that she said is he'd be dumb to want me at this stage in my life now that i'm over the hill or i've had an opportunity to let, let's just translate it go out there get bust down get used up uh gain all of this trauma can't unsee all of the things that i've saw multiple different men when i wanted you and i wanted the best of you you didn't make yourself available to me but now now that you are less than what it was when I first seen you and I tried to protect you from what you were going out there and doing, you decided to do it anyway. And now you've admitted that I'd be a fool to take you back. And so this is two things. A, this is refreshing to finally hear a woman admit or take accountability of the idea that the guy would be crazy to take her back now that she's been through whatever it is that she's been through and she didn't elaborate on that so we're not going to speak on that but you also have women on this being delusional to her trying to convince her differently of what she already knows to, the truth to be they said oh you don't believe in what do you mean you don't believe in old there's a literal definition for the word old how don't you believe in the word that you defined or that accurately describes or older accurately describes who you are and so you know relationships and marriage are more than just the shell of the person in the presentation layer we look at them we look at their baby hairs we look at their resources the chanel earrings the, the lips and she's a you know just from optics a decent looking girl but when you start to dig deep dig deep into it and even she's describing on this thank god that we got these platforms and these podcasts or we can talk to people or we can use these as examples in order to teach a lesson when you dig a little bit deeper you realize that it's a little different on the inside than it is on the outside anybody can dress up anybody can get the presentation layer anybody can go and fix themselves up and get a bbl and get a wig and make a transformation and go to the gym and all of that and i encourage people to fix the presentation layer but while you fix in a presentation layer do double the amount of work on the inside or more importantly don't even put yourself in a position to have to go and fix something that should have never been broken on the inside in the first place and i i often it all right he he make a good point right there why especially women why do women have to go out there and be a hoe instead of just listening to you know as somebody that's like want the best for them like why is always like why do i don't know i had an ex and we're not together no more obviously but uh her biggest problem like she will always want to do something 
and like I've I've already been through it, right? Say like I've already or I've seen somebody go through. I've been through a lot of shit. She would want to have to experience the thing that I told her not to do because she wanted to she learned by going through it and getting fucked over and getting hurt and and, and going through bullshit for her to not do something versus when I tell her just don't do it or not to do that or don't fuck with that person that person not good for you or every time you're around that person it's always some negative shit or every time you with x y and z you come back mad and, and it's messing up your mental your mental I can I can lay down a lot of stuff in front of her and she see it not listen to me and then have to go through it and see it or have to hear it from somebody else or her therapist tell her you get what I'm saying and it's just like I want like that's my thing because I'm the type of person that learn I've learned from other people like seeing other people throughout my life what not to do watching my father watching older family members just watching just I'm just a observer so like for me if I see something that ain't work that ain't working out because I'm not finna do it like it's not like that or I'm not finna do that you get what I'm saying I want to know what is it with certain females and it seems to be a lot of women that have to go through that like I ain't I ain't met a I ain't met a woman yet that I can tell something and they stay, they listen, they, they want to do the opposite. And it's like, a, they don't want to do what you say because you told them. And it's like not even a controlling thing. It's just like what you're about to do is stupid. That does not sound logical at all, but they got to go through it anyway. And that's like something that I've learned to just like, it's just impossible to 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 deal with when it comes to women and i want to know why is that a why is that a thing and it's like why why is that even like i don't know is it is it not from like not being around a father figure in their life is it not is it like you know what i'm saying but then it's like a lot of them have brothers and shit and it's just like this is a lot of shit i don't it, it, the world don't make sense as as it is but how women operate don't make a lick of sense and i have retired trying to make sense of them it's just sad that um after the fact you know they come like take my ex shit come back and be like you was right you know what i'm saying she always gotta tell me i was right after the fact but it's just like i don't want to hear i'm right now you done did the shit and then a lot of the times i would have to dig her out of the situation or help her get out of some situation or be there while she crying through the situation like i'm the one healing her but you not listening to me when you're going through it you get what i'm saying and, I, and a lot of things that i go through is that women want to just they want to do everything on their own instead of ask for help and then like if you're trying to like help them out and guide them and you're literally like, and you're not trying to control them. You're literally like just giving them guidance and stuff. That's like, bro, why would you do that? Or like, why are you operating like that? Or why are you hanging with them and it's this, that, and the third? Or like, if they treat you like this, why do you keep jumping? You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's always some, some BS. And, it, and it's sad. At times, say it. I say it on platforms. I say it on panels. I say it to you guys. And I say most women overwhelmingly. And I'm not just saying most 51, 52, 53, 54 percent of the population. I'm saying most in the 90, 91, 92, 95 percent percentile of women, I believe, have passed up on the man that they should have married and given the best of themselves to. So how does it make sense when we're trying to compartmentalize marriage? Because basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to remix what was originally supposed to be one way the blueprint for how to be successfully married and the foundation for how to be successfully married is it possible for you to then you know get in your yesteryears and finally land one or settle for one or whatever and then make it work absolutely 100 percent. continue to do the work continue to try to fix yourself but 
the thing that was best for you, which is why I say most women pass up on a man that they should have married. And if you ask them and if they honest with themselves, and we've had these conversations where women admit, yeah, 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 that got, yeah. And now they want to be reflective and have a come to Jesus moment and hindsight is, you know, 50, 50 and, you know, I get 20, 20 vision and I can see things and I understand it a little bit differently. Yeah. But you still gave the most precious part of you to people that didn't care anything about you in order to try to discover yourself. So you had to suffer. And then somebody is supposed to come up and pick up the pieces and repair you once they continue to grow and become way more successful and become greater. Now they supposed to go and take up something that's a little less than. I don't Damn. know anybody that aspires to buy a used car. And I'm not even comparing people or women to used cars, but I'm I'm using this this example. I'm speaking figuratively. I'm talking about, you know, metaphors. I don't know anybody that aspires to buy a used car. Will they settle for a used car? Are they ignorant a lot of times? Do they get a lemon? Absolutely. But nobody should be working their butt off get to the top of the of the league and then try to figure out how it is that they can get a, a car that got a whole lot of miles on it that somebody dog that they got from the rental car company and then this this guy went and rented it and he and he was halfway on the engine and this person was slamming on the brakes and this person over here he was doing burnouts in it and all that <laughs> and worst case scenario sometimes in most instances what we see is normalized today is a lot of people also have many cars that come along with them. So they have a pre-made family with you. And, you know, we got a lot of guys out here in Simpson, and leaders that's a part of the community that's not even an advocate for themselves. They're not even doing it themselves, but they'll advocate for you to do it and for you to put yourself under duress and become a stepbaby daddy. And they say, hey, go and take that package deal. That pre-made family, even though she still has ties, to the man that she had children with instead of saying, now what we don't hear from these leaders is they say, hey, go back to the man that you decided to have kids with and figure it out. Mm -hmm. Hey, is there another part of that, this dialogue? Because we only getting it from your version. I'm sure if we got it from his perspective, it would be a completely different conversation. We don't hear any of that. We hear zero, zilch, not a peep from people as far as holding themselves accountable, except for, and this is one of the rare occasions where we can use this as an example of a woman holding herself accountable and she didn't go into detail. She doesn't have to. She doesn't have to. We know this story all too often. We just act like it doesn't exist or we act like it's not a thing so that we can justify the way that we continue to live our lives, even though we still not getting the results. But I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you, I'm telling you that when you're vetting for and looking for somebody that you can build a lifetime with, don't vet for the thing that you're feeling at that time. Vet for who it is that you are to become so you can make a more informed decision as to whether or not this person is supposed to take the journey with you, especially if you're going on your way to be successful. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. T. Chanley, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. Also, we got Stock Club on patreon tomorrow on sunday and so yeah y'all go like comment subscribe to him but he was hitting all facts at the end i can't i ain't got nothing to rebuke on that one for real hell y'all see when i say y'all like comment subscribe please follow your boy all right i'll holler at y'all later